Hello and welcome to another of our quick look videos. Today I'm going to show how a user with our desktop client is able to handle cool cues effectively and efficiently using our visual groups option in Swix. We offer many of the features found in more expensive high-end call centers at a fraction of the cost but without compromising on quality. All the time focusing on the core objective improving the way your customer calls are dealt with. You may have already seen the video on wall boards that are a standard part of this package. So now I wanna show how the agent deals with customer calls efficiently using the Swixit client. So let's drop down to the desktop and have a look. So here we're looking at Daniel's desktop and he's logged on as a call center agent ready for work. Now this is one of the standard Swix skins that are available. There are a number of default ones that you can use or as this is Swixit of course, the client is infinitely configurable and it can be customized and designed to meet your exact requirements. But let's stay with one of the standard designs because I think this works really well. On the right hand side of the screen here, there are two panes of information. Both of these are optionally displayed. You can switch them on or off. The top pane gives me information about the queues and I will see listed here all incoming calls waiting to be answered with an option by the way just to click on any of those calls and take them out of order but we can look at those later. There is a tab here for missed calls and there is a tab for users so I can see the status of all the users in all the groups I'm a member of. For example if I was to click on this I can see that Daniel and Mark are a member of Pirate Radio. Daniel is available, but Mark is away. Same goes for UK support. Mark is away and Daniel is available. Of course, I don't actually have to go as far as that. Down on my speed dials, I have instant access to the status of all users. So I can see that these first four users are currently logged off. That's shown by the gray circle around the outside of their photo. Piers and Craig are logged in. They're green, so they're available to take calls. And Mark is currently away. If I was to hover over any of these users, I get this pop-up, which shows me more information about the user. For example, here, I can see that Mark is away. Uh, he's free until Thursday at eight o'clock. Then he's gonna be busy till 10 o'clock. This is an appointment that's taken out of his Outlook calendar. And that's a standard feature in Swix. And his status will change while that appointment is valid. I can manually change my own status at any time by going into the user here, right clicking. And if I mark myself as away, you can see I've now gone Amber. And in the users list, we can see that Daniel is also away. If I put myself into do not disturb, I go red. The red is showing here and I'm shown as do not disturb in the groups I'm a member of. Not only that, my call cues now has a red bar below it, showing that I will not be dealing with calls from the call center. I can also automate this if I right click and go to my properties. You can see I can have the system automatically mark me as away if I'm idle for a preset period. I can automatically show me as away if my screensaver is active or when my workstation is locked. And I can also put that appointment information in the presence as well. Let's book myself available and see what happens when a call comes in. So when we get an inbound call, the call will be presented to the agent most idle, or we could use skills-based routing, but whatever. The call is currently being presented to Daniel, and I can see information about the call waiting in the queue, and all calls will be listed here. I can see that there's a call from Piers, and he's currently been waiting 14 seconds. And when I answer the call, it's disappeared from the queue. We are now talking to the customer. When the call is completed, there is an option to bring up this call category list. And this can be defined by the system supervisor and they are just a bunch of categories and you can name them and create whatever you want. 
In this case, I'm going to mark the sale as complete. We're also in an automatic wrap up status. And as you can see, I've got 10 seconds left. And as that counts down, the wrap up finishes and I'll be available to take the next call. So my wrap up is now inactive and I'm ready to take calls. The bottom pane is showing statistics. It shows statistics of the group calls and my performance within the group. So the group has answered 12 and missed six calls and I've answered 12 calls, so I've answered all the calls, but I've actually missed 16. These other six calls were presented to other agents in the group and they didn't answer them. Let's show you what a missed call looks like in the system. So the call comes in and for whatever reason, the caller disconnects. As can be seen, the counter has incremented. There are a number of missed calls. And if I go to the missed calls tab in either of these two panes, I can see missed calls. Those that have got a tick against them have been dealt with. We only have one missed call at the moment. That is this one. And if I was to dial it by clicking on the name, you can see that the call is now marked with a tick. There is an option for users to request a callback while waiting in the queue. Callback requests are listed in the missed calls pane, but they're marked with a special icon here. So any agent looking at the missed calls list will see that we've got a missed call from someone and they've requested a callback. Again, the simple process, click the name, the system will call them back and it will put a tick against that call. So as can be seen, this is a very intuitive interface and the main advantage is it is a single pane of glass, a single interface for telephone users to use to improve the efficiency of inbound calls. Now in this short video, it's only been possible to cover just a fraction of the functionality of the system, but I hope it gives you an idea. If you want a full demonstration or more information, as usual, please contact your local authorised partner. There will be more videos coming soon. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.